and thank you for joining us for the IDG quarterly update. I'm Yolanda Lohid, and joining me today is Nicolos Cacos, President and CEO of Argentina Lithium. Nico, thank you so much for joining me today. Yolanda, thanks for having me on the program. In our last update, you discussed the growing importance of lithium in the electrification of society, as well as the importance of the lithium triangle, where your exploration is focused. For those who may have missed it, could you give us a quick update on the lithium market and why the lithium triangle is so important? Absolutely. Uh, the lithium market is absolutely critically important right now as the world moves towards electric vehicles and uh, all things that don't produce carbon, at least you know, everything produces some carbon, but at least not a lot of carbon. Um, lithium plays a very, very central and pivotal role. Uh, in fact, you know, you don't have all these electric vehicles now that are being produced on mass uh, and are, are becoming more and more ubiquitous around us, uh, not just in China, but we're seeing this in North America and seeing it across Europe. Uh, they require batteries to store the electricity. And the key, key component in these batteries is lithium. Now, while lithium is a very abundant mineral around the world, finding it in economic quantities that it can be extracted economically is not that easy. Uh, one of the best ways to extract uh, lithium is uh, when it occurs in salt brines or in salars, like these salt lakes. And these occur uh, in an area called the Lithium Triangle. Now, the Lithium Triangle encompasses uh, northwestern Argentina, a little bit of southern Bolivia and eastern Chile. And uh, more than half of the world's lithium comes from this region. So... With us being Argentina Lithium, focused, of course, on the Argentine section of it, um, I can confidently say that the Argentina section of the triangle is probably is the most prospective for making new lithium discoveries, simply because Argentina's entry into uh, the mining industry has been very recent, only the last 30 years. So there's a lot of potential still to be discovered, especially with the lithium market. Argentina Lithium is fully funded through this fiscal year, and you are now in the process of executing your exploration programs. Can you give us an update on how that's all going? Yes, uh, we are fully funded. We, we, we got, as of the end of last year, we had close to $10 million. So that's enough to execute our programs for the balance of, the, of this year. And uh, what we have, we have four projects. And what we're really focusing uh, initially are two. Two are our flagship projects. One is the Rincon West project, and the other one is the Antifire project. Why are they flagships? They're flagships because they, these Solars or these salt brine lakes already have lithium discoveries and major companies that are operating there. So in the case of Rincon West, we have our neighbor there, Real Tinto, one of the largest mining companies in the world. They have an enormous lithium discovery there. They're adjacent to us. And on the uh, eastern side of that lake, there's Argosy, another uh, Australian lithium company that also has a very sizable uh, lithium discovery there. On this project, we've been drilling now for the last 10 months. We were permitted to do nine drill holes, and lo and behold, we've completed all nine, and we've announced eight. The ninth one, we're still waiting for results. So on the eight holes that we've announced, every one of these holes intersected lithium over significant lengths, and the grades and intersections that we got were very much along the line with what both Rio Tinto and... Uh, Argosy minerals we're getting. So we're very excited about that. We're on to something here significant. On, on the Antifaya front, who's our neighbor there? Albermal. Uh, we control the whole northern section of this Antifaya uh, salt lake. Albermal was, was adjacent to us to the south. For those who don't know, Albermal is the world's second largest lithium producer, and they too have a very uh, large lithium discovery. So these are very exciting times because we're going to be as you know, we can talk about this, but there will be exploration drill programs going on for the balance of this year and good part of next. Wow, talk about being in the right place at the right time on a number of fronts. Yes. <laughs> Before we wrap up, are there any upcoming milestones that viewers should be watching for? Yes, uh, very excitingly, uh, on the Rincon project that we're currently drilling, uh, we're starting to do a resource calculation. It'll be our initial resource calculation. So this is going to be a very exciting time. And uh, also, at the same time, uh, we've been able to add additional property onto the Rincon project that the permitting for drilling is just coming in, I believe, just later this month. So we're going to re-engage with the drill program. So whatever resource we put out, 
I know it has potential to continue to grow as we have additional ground that we're going to be testing. So very exciting times for Argentina lithium. Definitely, we are in the right place in the right time. <laughs> no kidding. Well, Nico, thank you so much for this update. We look forward to future updates and keep up the exciting news. Great. Thank you. Thank you again. Bye for now.